Hey guys, this is Will from Going Awesome Places. Banff and Lake Louise is pretty amazing in the summer, but there's some serious magic here in the winter. We're here now during Snow Days, a 12-day festival to celebrate the spirit of winter and embrace all of the fun that Banff and Lake Louise has to offer. Spending four days here and with a keen sense of adventure, we're going to show you some of the best winter things to do. Oh, in case you were wondering, for this trip, you don't even need a rental car. Just book a shuttle with Banff Airporter, use the Ski Big 3 shuttles that come free with your pass and local transit, and you're good to go. Snow Days is an annual event in winter that occurs near the end of January and is an awesome anchor festival to build your trip around. All of Banff and Lake Louise comes alive during snow days. And guess what? It's free. To start, the streets of downtown Banff are fully transformed with these larger-than-life galleries of massive snow sculptures. The snow sculptures can be found all over town, but the best time to see them is right around sunset when you get that soft blue light and the lights turn on, giving them that extra twinkle, glow, and magic. On Bear Street, you'll also find live performances in the afternoon and evening throughout the festival. The fire pits also get lit up, so cozy up around the fire as the snow falls and enjoy the music. Then you have Snow Day's Play Zone, which is a specially designed area for fun things like sledding, tubing, GT snow bike, fat biking, and curling. Play Zone is all about embracing your inner child and having that same feeling you had after winter's first snowfall. One of the can't miss events is ski joring, which means ski driving in Norwegian, an age old tradition here since 1917. Teams of Alberta cowboys, cowgirls, and their horses descend on the town of Banff for a ridiculous show of horse riding, trick riding, and ski stunts. It's safe to say that this is one of the things during snow days that you can't miss. If you're a skier or snowboarder, you're gonna love the fact that you can ski not just one, not two, but three mountains. Lake Louise Ski Resort, Mount Norquay, Banff Sunshine, you can do it all in one trip. It all starts at the Ski Big 3 Adventure Hub in town, where you'll be able to pick up your gear rental, which in our case, were the high performance snowboards, helmets, and passes. They also have a service where you can get fitted here and have the gear delivered to your hotel in town. Something cool you should know about is that the Ski Big 3 Pass, Icon Pass, and Mountain Collective Pass all work at the Ski Big 3 Mountains. Oh, and guess what? They also have a handy Ski Big 3 app, which has quick access to things like the Ski Shuttle schedule, Ski Big 3 Pass perks, promotions, and ability to buy lift tickets, book rentals, and more. Let's start off with the Canadian Rockies' biggest ski and snowboard resort. From groomed runs, long cruising runs, gentle slopes, chutes, glades, gullies, and remote bowls, it has it all. Sushi for lunch? What? Spectacular scenery awaits you here! Yep, that's totally Lake Louise right there. Next up is Mount Norquay, one of the best kept secrets in the Canadian Rockies. It's the closest to the town of Banff and has epic views of the mountains. It has six lifts and 60 runs and is the only night skiing you'll find in the area. 
It's family friendly with a mix of green, blue, and black runs. They also have the longest and fastest tube lanes in Western Canada. Oh, this is fast! That was so much fun. Back for more. Last but not least is Banff Sunshine, which is perched on the Continental Divide. With its 12 lifts and 137 runs that span three sprawling mountains, it's best known for being the highest ski resort in Canada and that sweet, sweet Alberta feather light powder. It's also the only one in Banff and Lake Louise with a hotel on the mountain, perfect for a real skication. Here we go! Refuel in the village, and then you're off again. If you ski or snowboard all three mountains, you can come back to the Ski Big 3 Adventure Hub to pick up one of your Trifecta Challenge prizes. If you're looking for a different type of adventure during snow days in Banff and Lake Louise, there's plenty available for you here in the winter. You can go EFAT biking. Bikescape is a local company that offers guided winter EFAT bike tours where no experience is required. Their guides make sure you're comfortable riding and in no time, you'll be on the road. What you'll learn quite quickly is that this is too easy. Along the way, you'll take in the beautiful scenery, take photos, and ride to spots on the trail you might not make on foot. Woo! Or we could go snowshoeing. White Mountain Adventures has several snowshoeing experiences. We picked the Sunshine Meadows experience, which took us backcountry snowshoeing, starting from Banff Sunshine and into a white powder paradise, away from the crowds and into the serene quiet at the top of the world. We even had hot chocolate and snacks at the top in our makeshift couches in the snow. You'll be burning a lot of energy during your adventure, so it's time to treat yourself. Alongside those winter fun activities and snow days, here are the best places to eat. Welcome to Brazen. Connected to the Mount Royal Hotel, they're all about honoring the spirit of mountaineers and explorers of Banff with big style and bold taste. They are known for their cocktails, and it seems like they have a thing for fire and smoke as well. And this is Whiskey Creek, and you just gotta see how this is made. here is literally smoking. No kidding, right? Ow. Every single dish manages to impress, including their creme brulee that also has some smoking elements to it. Small Cap Brew somehow brings out the best in food, and Three Bears Brewery has a menu where everything pairs so well with their beers. Say cheers with a pint of their seasonal winter ale and special infusion, then pair that with their shrimp bao bun, lamb ribs, elk and kale pizza, and smash burger. It's hard to find a good fondue place, but I think I found it. Come on inside. This has strong, classic, and cozy vibes where you'll find wood paneled walls, wood carved bears, totem poles, buffalo head, and a mannequin riding a motorcycle. It's a bit of an eccentric place, but the star of the show is, of course, their epic four-course fondue. It starts with their famed French onion soup, and then the classic Swiss cheese fondue with bread. The main is a sizzling hot rock where you cook your choice of meat or seafood. In our case, we chose both with their special surf and Alberta turf combination. To close it out, of course, you gotta have the melted Toblerone chocolate fondue with fresh fruit and wafers. They even have phones at every single table. A legacy from where this place used to be a disco nightclub. Now, not saying you should do this, but this is totally crank call worthy. 
Bluebird opened in 2022 and locals rave about this restaurant. So this is definitely one that you wanna try. Just like heading to the slopes for a great day of skiing ahead, you could say the same thing here, except we're talking about a great evening of dining ahead. I love their mid-century modern and mountain lodge vibes. Foods and drinks. Mouth-watering appetizers. Their specialty, the prime rib. And you can't miss their desserts. Coming in the winter means you get exclusive access to a special immersive experience called Night Rise at the top of Sulphur Mountain with the Banff Gondola. The best way to do it is with the Night Rise Sky Experience. You'll start off by taking the Banff Gondola up to the peak. From the various viewing decks, you'll have amazing views of the town below, Spray Valley, and Bow Valley. Next, have dinner at Sky Bistro with the best seats in the house that we recommend you book right before sunset. Their menu is filled with delicious dishes such as their seafood chowder, scallops and pork, braised lamb shank, arctic char with BC prawns, and closing off with milfil and s'mores brownie. As the sun sets, it's time to explore the immersive experience called Night Rise, where Sulphur Mountain gets transformed to something entirely different. In collaboration with the Stony Nakoda Nation, the indigenous peoples who have called the Canadian Rockies home since time immemorial, explore the Four Wonders, art installations on every floor that'll blow you away with their light, sound, and reflective calm of the land and the magic of winter. There are plenty of hotels to choose from in Banff and Lake Louise, but the one you should definitely consider booking is the historic Mount Royal Hotel because of its central location, contemporary design. It's surprisingly quite affordable, comfortable rooms, ski storage, proximity to the shuttle, an amazing rooftop lounge and hot tubs. There's something truly magical about coming to Banff in the winter, especially during snow days in January. If you're looking for more details, check out our full itinerary on the blog, which is in a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and keep going to awesome places.